C.T. Moore for NVI at PubCon 2009. I'm about to talk to Matt Cutts. If you don't know who he is, Google him. We're going to talk about some shiny new webmaster tools that he's lined up for us. Uh, you fight evil spam on the interweb. What do you think are, are the biggest causes of spam right now? Hacking. Hacking and malware is like the bane of my existence right now, and I think it'll only get worse in 2010. So we've seen um, a lot of people who are hacking WordPress installations, older WordPress installations, and turning it into all kinds of hosts for malware. So the nice thing is, the latest versions of WordPress make it very easy to see that there are updates, and it's sort of a one-click update process, but there's a lot of older WordPress, WordPress blogs, not to mention a ton of other, you know, Drupal and Joomla, a lot of older software out there. So um, the degree to which there is a bunch of hacked content uh, has made us respond. So we've got a new feature called Fetch as Googlebot in Webmaster Console. So you can actually tell Googlebot, I own this domain, mattcuts.com, fetch a page from mattcuts.com and show me exactly what Googlebot saw. And we'll show you the HTTP headers, everything, all time stamped and just laid out for you very nicely. So if you've been hacked, sometimes these guys do it. So they only show the nasty content to Googlebot. And then they put a new archive tag so you can't view the cached page. So they can do it really, really effectively. What Fetch's Googlebot lets you do is sort of pierce that veil and see exactly what Google sees whenever you fetch your page. So you can debug if your site's been hacked or if there's anything else weird going on. In Webmaster Console, there's also now a keyword details function. So you can see, oh, I, I ranked for you know porn. And then you can click on that word and you can see the URLs that have that word. And then we also had one last feature called malware details. And what that lets you do is it will actually show you the URLs if you've been hosting malware that are serving up the bad content. So you know exactly where to go and what to look for to kind of remove the bad content. So if you do get hacked, there's a lot of different ways that you can find out about how to correct it. But unfortunately, there's a lot of webmasters out there who still don't keep their servers patched and are basically just sort of sitting ducks for people who are going to try to hack them. So if you're out there and you haven't patched your web servers, definitely spend a little bit of time because it'll save you a lot more aggravation if you fix it beforehand instead of after. Well, thank you very much for your time, Matt. I appreciate it. Yeah, good talking to you.